Hi, I'm Sue Gillian, and I'm a children's author. I live here in Kansas City, and I also am a reading mentor at Wendell Phillips Elementary through Lead to Read KC. I miss seeing you guys at Wendell Phillips and hope to see you soon. Well, today I'm here to read with you a book called Pug Reads Pig, and I'm the author of the book. That means I wrote the story, the words, and Joyce Wan is the illustrator. You guys probably know what an illustrator is. That's the person who draws the picture. And I am sharing this book with you with the permission of the publisher, Simon & Schuster. So let's get started. How do you think Pig is feeling in the big start of this book? And what about Pug? We're going to find out more. When I start a picture book, I always look at the end pages because sometimes there are clues to what might be happening in the book. So what do we see here? Pug is having a good day, I think. Pug eats pig. Now, let's get started. This is Pug's home. This is Pug's bowl. This is where he eats. This is Pug's yard. This is where he works. Now, does a dog have a job? Pug thinks, seems to think his job is digging up flowers that somebody probably just planted. My dog, Tucker, thinks his job is barking at squirrels and at cats. And this is Pug's bed. This is where Pug sleeps. Pug is happy here at home with his bowl, his yard, and his bed. But one day, when the door opens, out trots someone new. <laughs> Things are changing at Pug's house. Pig meets Pug. Pug meets Pig. Have you seen this picture before? Yeah, it was right there on the front of the book. Well, how is Pug feeling about having somebody new move into his house? Pug is hungry, but here is Pig. Pug has work to do. Arf, arf, arf. He is barking at a cat, just like my dog does. But here is Pig. Oh no, Pig is making friends with that cat. Pug needs a nap. Do you ever feel that way? Sometimes you just need to take a nap and start fresh. But here is Pig. Pug is not happy. He is not happy here at home anymore. He must move. So he packs his things. Let's see. So he's got to pack his bowl. That's really important. What else does he need? A bone and his ball. Okay, he's ready to go. But wait, what's this? Hmm, something has changed with that screen door. Now Pug can come and go without Pig. Once again, Pug is happy here at home, but someone else is not. Who do you think that could be? Pig's head can fit through the doggy door. Pig's tail can fit through the doggy door. But Pig's round middle cannot fit. What a sad pig. Have you ever seen such a pitiful pig? Perhaps Pug could help. Perhaps Pug should help. Perhaps Pug will help. Pug scratches and gnaws. He chews and claws. And now the doggy door for Pug da -da -da, is also a piggy door for Pig. <laughs> He's looking happy now, isn't he? Now, this is where Pug and Pig eat. See, even here, Pug, and now it says, and Pig. This is where Pug and Pig work. Well, that is a fine job, digging a bone together, or digging a hole for a bone together. This is where Pug and Pig sleep. Pug is happy here at home. And so is and then when you look at the end papers, well, look at this. Two good new friends having a really good day. The end. One of the things um, that's my most favorite things to do in a day is just curl up with a book. And I hope you guys are able to keep on reading and curl up with a good book today, too. Take care.